Hello everyone, how's it going? So today we are going to look into 16 GPT-3 projects. Now there are a lot more. If you look up on the internet, you'll find at least 30 applications, 30 different projects which people have done. But these 16 are ones, the one which I personally liked. I mean, all of all of them are, don't get me wrong, all of them are very interesting and mind blowing. But these 16 stood out really for me and I wanted to share with all of you. So you can see this first project, it's uh, basically a blog and uh, this gentleman by the name Liam Poor. So he's a college kid and this made a lot of news and it was picked up by many news articles. So what he did was he used GP33 to create a blog and that blog for some reason got viral. On Hacker News, it happened to rank on the first. So this particular blog over here, feeling unproductive, maybe you should oh, stop overthinking thinking by the name Adelos. So Adelos is just a fake name which he created and this blog ended up ranking number one in Hacker News and it's just not this. He wrote a few more blogs and all of them ended up being viral and that was written by an AI. The title itself, this title over here is all written by AI and people read it like anything. People even subscribed to the blog and this became very viral so you can see right here this this line stood out for me so it's the writer is saying it was super easy actually he says which was the scary part and uh, that was really funny so yeah uh, i'll leave the link for all of these blogs all of these applications below so that you can see for yourself and we're going to go into the next one so this is by a gentleman by the name paras chopra on twitter so he created a search engine kind of page where you can put down any question and it will look up the internet and come back and give you the answer. So here, for example, he's giving out information. He's asking questions about what the self a genius. He's even asking about questions about what, when did Mahatma Gandhi or who killed Mahatma Gandhi? And it's giving out information that it was Nathuram Kodse. So it's able to pull out information from the internet and give out results. So I'll leave the disc uh, link for this particular one. Uh, it looks like a search engine, but it's more, I feel it's more like a chatbot, but with more of a user interface. So where you can ask questions and it can answer you so going to the next one now this one stood out really for me so this is where a person created a code so you can ask you can give out real word sentences well for human layman terms and here it's asking the AI to create an AI so that's why it's called it's an inception and here is giving out an information to create a data set of 2015 to create a data set of images and then create a machine learning model out of it. So it's creating a model, a KRAS model, a machine learning model. That was amazing for me. So I'll leave the link here for you to test it out yourself, but this is crazy. So now going next, this is an AR application, augmented reality application. So here what he's doing is the camera is pointing on the text top here. And in the bottom, if I bring your attention down here, the AR is creating a summarization or some kind of a poetry based on this text. So it's like a text summarization and it's giving out an AR augmented reality interface right bottom and over, over the bottom of the page. So that was amazing. The next page is this guy, he created a, a, a GPT-3 application where you could create a presentation. I muted the volume so that way it doesn't bother. But uh, this is basically creating a presentation, a PowerPoint presentation based on what it has given. It's just giving it a title and the whole GPT-3 is able to develop this presentation here. So coming down here, the next one. So this is creating a uh, Figma design. So something where you are, you can be able to design, it could be a mobile app or a web design, but uh, more like a user interface so that people can see what the end product could look like. So it's like a template design and you could see what kind of application you need and it can develop. So you, he, he wrote what to, um, that he wanted to develop or write a red color box, red color, blue color box, and it's able to design it for the user just by by layman terms english word commands now next 
this is by a user named Nikita Jersha. So he created a chatbot. He created, he brought two GPT-3 AIs and he made it. He made both of them communicate. With, so you can see they're all both communicating with each other. So next is by this user by the name Sharif Shamim, and it's a very old one. So he's creating a React JS application where you can ask to create a button and it will create a HTML page, HTML button and a code snippet for you. So you can see there's an HTML code snippet and it's asking, just giving out English sentences for what it needs to be look like. And the GPT-3 is able to create a code, a full code, a functioning code that you can use in your own websites. So this was amazing and that is by Sharif Shamim. He had he had another one. So this is also on Twitter. So Sharif Shamim, if you look up on this, this is creating another React JS application where it's doing addition and subtraction. So it's asking for to create a button which can, which is going to add three dollars and another button which is going to remove five dollars, but also it should show the balance that is left. So you give that command and if you press on generate over here and it's able to create two buttons right here you can see add three and withdraw five dollars and it's giving out the balance right here so gpt3 is not only able to understand your sentences but also do the subtraction addition math in that and of course generate that code which you need the react js code that you can use so this was amazing for me and we'll go to the next one so this is another user by the name Amjad Masad. So he created a GPT-3 application on a Python application on a Python file. So it's able to read the Python file and you can ask questions in plain English language, what this code is doing or what this line of code is doing. And it can read and understand that Python application and it can give you layman term answers and simple language what this code is doing. So that was amazing and this is on Twitter again the description will be the link and will be in the description which can be easy for you to understand uh, the next is this GPT-3 application where this person created a resume generator so you can just provide basic information and you can say that this is that I'm a software engineer and I'm working in so and so place and this is what I know and it will go ahead and create a resume for you imagine that so it's you, know, you pressed and you gave just these two lines of codes and stating this is what we need and it's able to generate that code for you so this is a resume generator application on gpt3 now next is this application this is a person who created a meme generator application on gpt3 so you can see it's able to create different types of sentences related to these images right here as a meme so that was cool as well. Now coming on to the next one, this is by uh, the company Plotly and they're into plot generation. So what they did is, I'll, I'll leave the description, I'll leave the link. It's basically, uh, you can give out simple sentences right here on the top or bottom. And you can say that this is uh, what I need and this is the type of bar or graph I need. And it will give out the graph it will give out the bar graph so you can say that uh, simple language in my backpack i have three apples five pears and two oranges and it's easily going and creating that code for us and it's creating those bar graph for us based on the information that we are providing so it's mind-blowing the way gpt3 is acting and this is just the beginning the, i mean the api is not even public these are a few handful of people who are making it and it's even private now and people are able to do so much so imagine the moment they open it source and open for other people to use it so this is another amazing application uh, the screen is not so easily visible but what he did was you could go onto this page and you can ask questions about people historic people like you could ask about washington you can ask about uh, mahatma gandhi you can ask about different old historic legends and ask them questions as though they are present in real life with you right there in the moment so you can see okay. tell me a little bit about why you think you were such an effective leader america's first president i was a born leader as a child i was very disciplined and grew up quickly the others in my village liked me a lot because i was fun and a good friend many saw me as an excellent fighter but not too threatening 
They saw that I was an optimistic person with a willingness to help all kinds of people around me. Why do you think it's important to lead and be able to connect with all kinds of different people? I believe that in order to be a great leader, you must be able to relate to all kinds of people. People are like sponges. We absorb all kinds of things in our lives and learn from them. It is important that a good leader take this in. So that was amazing for me. Next one is by this gentleman by the name McKay Wrigley. So he created a simple application, so which is more like a educational purpose, where it's able to create 10 questions from the American history, and it's also able to answer those questions. So the GPT-3 model, you can create a test paper, a question paper for students, and it can also create the answer key for the same questions. So it's the information is all collected over the from the web. They're, they've parts to some several of Wikipedia articles and they have information and you just ask them and can able to generate that code for you as simple as that now the next one is by this gentleman by the name Giyash so you provide simple in uh, simple English terms about financial documents so about the amount of money you have spent on goods amount of, uh, amount of exp uh, money you have spent or taken the profit and loss you give out simple simple terms I'm, I'm not a financial person and creating these financial sheets is very daunting tasks but by creating a simple English term sentences OpenAI GP3 is able to create and code this Excel spreadsheet and create that financial statement for us. So this is all using uh, open source and this is by using the OpenAI GPT-3 API. So this is very amazing and it's something to really look for and definitely I mean it's it's not even a few months since GPT-3 was released and you can see so many applications already in the market and I'm sure this is going to grow and by the end of this year you'll see tons and tons of applications. So with that I come to the conclusion if this is something that you really like go ahead and subscribe to the channel and uh, let me know what other app types of videos or applications you're interested in in the comments section below and I'll be happy to look into for you and if you're running into any issues feel free to share and we can see how we can solve it. Yeah. With that take care stay safe bye bye.